where the fire truck Great background photo shoots are like having zero background and then turning it into a 10. Hey what's up guys, it's Mikey. We were fond of doing photo shoots but unfortunately we were only given the space of Paco Manila. I got you girl. I'd like to call it the low budget photo shoot because you don't have to use expensive light boxes and having to go somewhere with fancy view or buildings. This is just like working on your space, working on what you have and turning it into a whole new level kind of photo shoot. And I'm so excited to show you guys what we came up with and by we I mean Sam and I I came up with one, two, three, four. I've came up with eight photos with six different backgrounds that are very typical and very accessible if you're living especially here in Paco Manila so if you would want to check it out then let's go check it out because I'm just so excited this is just like wow so the first one that I am going to show you, should I put it here or should I put it? Yeah, I should I should probably put it here. I'm soon. The first photo and the first location that I'm going to show you guys is, is this one. This photo completely shows me being comfortable with a hint of anxiety just right there, right in the face. Like my body is like comfortable of hanging, just like oh, just low key hanging on this fire truck you can see my face freaking anxiety of i am low-key film myself here in the fire truck but there are people eating fish bowl and watching me but i kind of like this picture though we are going to photo shoot sa tabi ng fire truck next photo is um the most convenient because it is a convenient store in Paco is the 7-Eleven. This is just me alone as always. The only ugly here, yung mga pinagkainan. Why did I remove that? I don't know. If you're from the Philippines, you know that 7-Eleven is not just a convenience store. In the US, they find 7-Eleven just a convenience store. Like, if you would convert it here in the Philippines, 7-Eleven is just a sari-sari store in the States. But here, 7-Eleven, more than a convenience store. It's a meeting place, ambayan, sentihan, kung ka pwede mag-meeting, and stuff like that. Especially if it's the only place near you 7-eleven is a whole new different story here in the Philippines so moving on to the third photo this one I love it because the lighting is so on point this is more like a sunset lighting kailan ba kami kumalis na maaga tamang tambay lang ta cell phone spark tinawag ka lang ng sunlight and then BAM there goes the freaking picture. Sa pigorawa namin to shinut. It's like a billiard spot on where most of the 90s kids used to hang out back in the days. It's probably one of the coolest places before because there they used to be had a neon sign on the place. I love this one. Okay, to the next and the fourth photo, which is the most basic photo when doing a low budget photo shoot um the what do you call it not by next thing ko kasi ito nga kasi yung picture like the sarado store photo shoot because you literally just find a closed store and then do a photo shoot of edit it on some kind of filter color theme you liked and then bam it goes really aesthetic and very minimal and very cute and very old-fashioned because this is like very easy like you don't have to put an effort it just work itself out because of the background at the background na ang magdadala sa DP mo kasi sobrang sobrang retro there was just a base came where almost everyone used this kind of photo shoot and everyone is changing their profile picture to this kind of photo shoot. I think I've never used that. Like I, I think this is the first time I did a photo shoot on a closed store. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had that photo. Moving on to the fifth 
photo. This is Isao is life. But say for this photo, we kind of like stop for an Isao, and then the sun is like going down, and then the market. Idolina is all orange. I don't know. I just love it. This is like a very typical day for everyone. And then I just decided to do a photo shoot. Isao is one of the unhealthiest yet satisfying food ever. Everyone who eats Isao give this video a thumbs up. Second to the last photo is this one. This photo is the lowest budget but it still came out like it was like a high class parang feeling ko RK ako na pinapost kaya ang picture niya even though sobrang crusty so old so broken no tires no leather seats ang nagpamukha ng RK sa kanya is the peninsula building right over there and then the trees but kind of like a very gang type ng mga vandalisms sa tabi. Feeling ko talaga ganda-ganda ako sa sarili ko nung nagpo-post ako para sa photo na yan. And then there's another photo of it with this same background which is also the last one. And it's this one. Still the same. Tinan mo, basag na nga yung salamin ng jeep natin eh. <laughs> Katabi lang siya ng dalawang fire truck na red. But... So, that is is the ugly background low budget background photo shoot that we tried and i loved to share with you guys because doing this is so fun and exciting because you have to think on how to spice up the background like the essence when they say ugly background is like the typical everyday setting that you used as a background what I've learned in this photo shoot is that the more typical, no, it's not that typical. The more practical the background is, the more story it gives to the photo. Even though it's not that high quality kind of background, it yeah, it brings more story. It is low budget and it's very like easy access on the place regardless of the background as long as you're happy on the photo and you're enjoying yourself being yourself on the photo then that's worth a like a heart a thumbs up by the way the photos are, are edited in Lightroom if you are probably wondering where I edit those photos it's from Lightroom I hope you liked it I hope you found it helpful so thank you guys for watching and i will see you on my next video always remember to inhale confidence and exhale doubt Mwah.